Welcome to the main home of the Markalik markup system by Redlock. Here you will have the main home of your journal. We can find already the number of issues that are already in the Markalik system, which are six, two that are already on the Redlock 3.0 portal, one tagged article that is waiting for the update of the Markalik the Redlock system, and three art, uh, issues in progress, which are already waiting for us to come and tag them and we have the button to add another issue the current issues that you are watching in this moment are the issues that were accepted in the previous Redalic uh, model of publishing and the ones you find with a green tick a red tick and the yellow cog are the ones that are in the 3.0 system so let us begin we We'll start by adding another issue. We'll start by adding the volume, which is number 16, the issue that it's number 4, the year that it's 2018. Here we see the part of last year. Normally, the journals have the same year of coverage, but there are some journals that have, that start, I don't know, by October of 2018 and begin in January of 2019. So this is the demo the motif behind this this part. If your journal doesn't have another year that it's part of the period of coverage, you don't need to add this. Now, for the first month, we have the coverage of July and the last month is of August. As you can see, this journal in particular has a bi-monthly period of coverage. Now, we'll start by adding the sections of the table of contents of your journal. So, we'll click on the plus sign to add another section. This section is named letters to the director or to the editor, sorry. We'll click on the tick to accept this new section and then we'll add another one which is special articles. We'll accept it and then we'll add another section. This one being original articles. For the purpose of this tutorial we'll only add three sections, but you have to add all the sections that appear in your table of contents. Now, for the type of installment, we have a various number of installments that we can select. We already have by default the ordinary installment, but we can also select a special or extraordinary installment, a supplementary installment, or a double installment, which could be complementary to the ordinary. We'll leave it like that, as this is an ordinary inst installment. Now, for the period. There are some journals that doesn't apply the months of the calendar to their period of coverage and instead use the stations of the year, such as spring, summer, autumn, or winter, or the ones that follow a semesteral coverage can select first semester or second semester. In this case, none of them apply so we don't have to select next we have the periodic publication here we can see two options and periodic publication applies to the journals that in the period of coverage continue to add more articles to their issue for example in this one July to August let us suppose that our let us suppose that our period of coverage allows us to add articles from July to August. So uh, on the 27th of July, I accept another article. I'll add it to the table of contents and continue with the same issue until August the 15th, which is the, ti the time where, where I cut or where I stop receiving articles and then I publish the new issue. Uh, some journals do this, some others don't. This one doesn't, 
so we'll select no now for the licenses we have uh, a tab to select the Creative Commons license if our journal has one with the following being attribution, non-commercial, non-derivative and the non-commercial, non-derivative or share alike uh, if our journal has one we can select it and as we as we will see we uh, the system already fills up the license description and a link to the license uh, now for the copyright statement we can also add the copyright with the name holder and the year of our copyright we can have a creative commons license and a copyright statement so it's not uh, it doesn't exclude one of another uh, we'll put the copyright statement in this case we'll put an exemplary one now the copyright holder which can be uh, the institution that our journal is ascribed to or the, the journal itself And finally, we'll add the copyright year, which is 2018. We'll save the changes and we'll have our number added. As you can see now, this is the number that we have created, which is number 16, issue 16, number 4. We'll click on the, the issue and we'll see that the section that we added are the ones that appear in the table of contents. Here we can add articles or delete them in order of the uh, section that we need. Now, what happens if I make a mistake on capturing the information of my issue? Well, we can select on the green pencil to edit some of the information of my number, such as the volume, issue, and pretty much all the things we need we can add more sections and we can also change the periodic publication and and so on we can also sort the sections if our table of contents in, indicates that special articles goes up letters to the editor so we can sort it this that way and once we have finished updating it we'll just have to click on the update button and we'll have our number successfully edited now We'll stop in this moment to continue with the next part of the tutorial, which is add article.